So let's just talk about John first. Um, it's not a eulogy, obviously, because it happened this morning. His family were with him, and I spoke to Sonia, his wife. His kids came from America. It was expected. I last played golf with him in November, mm. and later that month, uh, there were signs that there was some deterioration in John's thinking. And um, he went for a checkup, and uh, they found that he indeed had uh, a tumor on the brain. And uh, several tests, an operation happened uh, in February, and he remained humorous. I also had an operation the same time, and we met in March and we compared our procedures. And he said, let me look at yours. He says, ah, I see you cut the ball, but look at mine. They had a good drawing, didn't they? So, you know, that was the humor of the man. It was subtle, it was beautiful. We always knew what a, a lovely man he was uh, to us all. Uh, I never felt anything uh, uh, bitter about John, angry, always good to his fellow men. I, just a good word to say about John all the time. So um, I'm sure the celebration of his life will come a lot later. I certainly will be there. It'll happen next week sometime. And um, we are dearly going to miss John Bland. What I'd like to say that this place, Port Elizabeth, as it was known then, was one of his favorite places, having won this Goodyear Classic on a number of occasions. He also played worldwide. He won on the European Tour, and he won on the Champions Tour, and was revealed by, by all. I mean, uh, a wonderful man, made many, many friends, although he hated to spend his own money. But uh, John did buy me a cup of tea now and then, and uh, I was very thankful to be his friend for 52 years. His friend that I knew in his days at uh, Irene Golf Club, where he, he met his wife, Ellen, uh, Helen, and uh, Helen passed on and now he's gone to to be with her. He then moved to the ERPM Golf Club and I really got to know him in the early 70s, played many, many rounds of golf with him uh, since then. And uh, good pals, although he played worldwide and uh, we weren't uh, like chummies all the time, but whenever I got to George, I had to stay at his place. So I thank you, my friend, and God bless you, John. <laughs>